Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning. Right here. Okay. So welcome to another session, London session with me. Um, let's just uh, do the needful. Okay. We're going to be focusing on our regular pairs again today. You know, um, the Euro, New Zealand dollar, USD card, and of course, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, what's going on there? What's going on? and the pound USD. Now we, we would also look at um, DAX and gold as well. You know, um, we'd also be looking at DAX and gold. If you can hear me, do let me know. Just let me know if you can hear me. Okay, so these are the pairs we are focusing on today. That's um, pound USD, USD card, and Euro, um, Euro New Zealand. Sorry, not Euro New Zealand, Euro Aussie, Euro Aussie, Euro Aussie. Let's see what we can find. I mean, I do tend to scalp gold on my own. I do tend to scalp gold on my own, guys. And gold seems good for scalping. Let's see, it seems good for scalping today. I mean, with gold, I mean, um, not a lot of brokers basically let you tr trade gold, you know, for um, 10 cents a pip. You know, I do have a broker that lets you do that. You know, the link is below uh, this video. So if you want to be able to trade gold 10 cents or 10 pence a, a, a pip, then you can surely do that, you know, by using the link below for ingot brokers. Right, hello, Suleiman. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Let's see what we can find. Let's quickly go through some of the chats. Some of you might know that I also love trading the DAX. I also love trading the DAX. You know, I have been a bit, I have been bearish on, the, what's it called? On Euro Aussie dollar. I've been bearish on Euro Aussie dollar. You know, and, and um, I think it's most likely going to be another sell very soon.
you know, let's wait patiently for a good setup, guys. That's the best way to do it. We wait patiently for a good entry, if you like. Um, So I'm bearish on Aussie dollar. Sorry, I'm bearish on Euro Aussie dollar. I'm bearish on Euro Aussie dollar. I am somewhat bullish on um, pound USD. Bearish also on USD card. Okay, so let's let's have it. Let's do some. Let me show you exactly what I'm checking here. What I'm looking at. Now, the truth is, because I am day trading, I'm day trading, I'm going to be day trading today. You know, I do give signals on my Telegram group for those of you who are here for the first time. I do give, you know, um, signals on my Telegram group. You know, I'll be posting the, the link to the Telegram group, you know, um, in, in a minute. But obviously, you can find it on the, um, you can also find it on the, below the video here. So this is pound USD. You know, like I say, I am bullish on this one. Now, because I'm day trading, you know, um, at least, you know, today, you know, I'll be looking for, you know, just a few pips. I'm not, I'm not swing trading. Now, so far today, this is the daily time frame. So far today, um, pound USD has done about 73 pips or so. So it can definitely, can definitely still move. It could come as high as that. You know, pound USD can come as high as this. Let's delete some of the lines here. So pound USD could come as high as that. Let's um, pull out the, let's see. So um, the line chart, I mean, not everybody uses the line chart. This is the line chart. And this is the candlestick, you know, that we are used to, you know, but you could use the line chart for, you know, uh, precise marking of your charts or marking up when you're marking up. You know, you can see, for instance, where you have the swing highs and swing lows, you know, you could then um, use, you know, that as um, the next, um, point of resistance or support. In this case, if you look this way, you can see that could be, you know, some support there. I don't have to go very far, you know, um, but I know, okay, I mean, saying that, let's um, do, 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 do. So we're looking at one pair at a time now. Let's just see what is possible. Okay, so looking at this now, this is basically where the price is. 
you know, if he was to push up, you know, we'd be looking at, you know, here as, you know, um, you know, the short term um, resistance, that would be short term support in another one there. So let's just measure it. Like I did say, if the price is here and that is the resistance, it means we have 70, you know, it could go, so it could push up by 70 pips or come down by, you know, 55 pips, 60 pips, or as much as 90 pips. So you can see either way, you know, the price could move today. So we'll be wanting to catch the move going up or down. That's what we'll be looking to do with this one. So you can see the way it is at the moment. I'm sure you guys will learn something new. I mean, the thing is, each time you come to my live session, you know, um, my aim is to give you some something to go away with, you know, something you know to to that would help your trading, as it were. So we've just looked at um, how to use the line chart, you know, to find support and resistance. So that's where we are. Let's go to the lower time frame. I know there's this week here, there's this week here, which obviously could mean that the price could come as high as that, you know, level up with that and go back down, you know, but I believe, you know, we will catch some pips today, either during our session here, our live session here, Or later on in the day. Now, what I'm what I intend to do is, you know, um, even if we're not able to catch some um, some trade some some trades here, you know, if I do find anything, I'll be posting it in the Telegram group. So, so you do well to join the Telegram group, guys. Okay, I'm selling um, I'm selling Euro Aussie dollar now. I'm selling Euro Aussie dollar. Um, I'll tell you, I've just entered Euro Aussie dollar for a stop loss of about 35 pips. Let's, um, you know, we, we're going to be targeting. Um, we're going to be targeting thirty-five pips as TP one. So, Euro Aussie dollar for a sell. We're getting in there. Euro Aussie dollar for a sell. We're targeting at least thirty-five pips as TP one. You know, so far today, it's done about, um, oh, let's see. So far today, Euro Aussie dollar has moved by about 80 pips. That's nothing compared to what it can do. I mean, the average daily range, yeah, surely it can, you know, come as low as this. The average daily range for Euro Aussie, it's at least, um, at least 100. So I, I trust you guys are in. If you're watching, I trust you're in. You know, we're targeting, uh, Let's say, let's say, you know, um, 35 pip stop loss, 35 pip stop loss. And, you know, we're using, um, and a 60 pip take profit. So we're in, we are in already, we are in already guys. Let me enter the trade on all my brokers. Uh, 
okay. Okay, we're in about six P profit already or so. Right here. So I'll, I'll be looking to, um, you know, what I'll do is basically I prefer to go into profit, maybe even, um, you know, secure my position before getting into a second trade. You know, like I say, we're looking at three pairs at least, USD card, pound USD and Euro Aussie dollar. You know, so... One minute, guys, one minute. I'm communicating with my guys in the Telegram group. Okay. Okay, so, oh, well, it's moving well for us. It's moving nicely for us. It's um, at least a one. A one to one and a half, you know. Um, risk to reward that we're doing on this one. Right, yo. So definitely, you know, visit our Telegram group, you know, for more signals. So we're currently the ten with the ten pip profit. Now. If you want to join our trading community, join the Telegram group. Let me post the link now, actually. <coughs> Oops, that's not what I want.
right here. So that's TP1. Let's make a note of that. Let's, uh, that's TP1. That'll be TP2. Right here. Now, I mean, what, what I've noticed in the past is, um, you know, because, you know, I, I trade the London session, especially now that, you know, um, I'm going to be, you know, um, giving signals and be here by eight o'clock, I try to be here, here for around about eight o'clock UK time. You know, it is the case that, you know, signals could come in, you know, anytime at the beginning. You know, I usually get my signals between eight and nine o'clock UK time. I mean, which basically means, you know, we could get signals almost immediately we come online. And because of that, I would not necessarily always have time to teach much. I mean, obviously I have explained some things this morning. You know, I have done a bit of teaching this morning, but I would, I would not always have time to, you know, teach because I'm wanting to focus on, on the pairs and be able to give you, you know, the signals, you know, so that's basically, you know, uh, what, you know, we should have in mind. You know, we should have that in mind. You know, but you definitely would get the signals, you can be sure of that. You know, I'm working on having more live sessions, you know, um, working on having more live sessions. I'm only currently able to do the one, you know, but, you know, hopefully from next week, I know I keep saying that, hopefully from next week, we'll be able to focus on, um, you know, more sessions. We'll be able to um, come up with more sessions as it were. Okay, so that's the one we are in at the moment. Let's um, see if we can find more pairs. Now, if you are on our live channel if you're on live now you know do you know hit the like button for me hit the like button for me hit the like button for me guys let's see what other trades we can find today And the good thing is, you know, the, the, the trade we've jumped into now is um, Euro Aussie dollar, you know, which basically means we are expecting, you know, um, signals from, we are expecting signals from um, USD card or pound USD. So our trade on Euro AUD is currently at 11 pips. It's pushing down nicely for us. Pushing down nicely for us. Okay. I mean, I, I find that it's been a bit of a slow week this week. 
you know, I mean, with regards to getting, you know, um, you know, swing trades and all, I have been scalping. I have been scalping, you know, it's not been um, as I would want it. I usually prefer to have some, uh, some trades to post, you know, to you guys in the Telegram group. You know, but it's just been, you know, such this week that I have not quite liked the, um, the setups I've seen. <clears throat> so I haven't, post, I haven't posted um, too many signals, you know. I haven't posted too many signals. Okay, so let's have a look at, um, now this is the Forex factory. You know, that's basically the news we have for the day. That's the news we have for the day. You know, um, around about 1.30 p.m., you know, which is UK time, this is UK time. I mean, obviously if you are, if you are somewhere else that has a different time from us in the UK, you know, uh, it would be different. You know, but you know, UK time run about 1.30, which is run about you know, more or less the, the, the early you know part of uh, the, the US session. You know, um, we'll be having you know some US event, US related event. I mean, this would not so much affect us, you know, last later on. Well, hopefully it wouldn't. So USD news, USD news is more or less the only other one we have, you know, later on today. You know, so just be mindful when when trading. Just be mindful when trading. Just be mindful when trading. So we see that, um, I mean, the other pairs we trade tend to be in the range as it were. I mean, uh, because I'm, because I'm, I'm um, you know, I usually use my, I usually use the, the five minute time frame or the 15, for my entries, like for most people who are either scalping or day trading. So you can see it's pretty much in the range here. I would, I would love for, um, boo -doo -boo -doo -boo, where's this thing? This is um, USD card, USD card, USD card. You know, I would love for the price to break the low here. I would love for the price to break. I would love for the price to break below the low here or break above the high if I'm going to be jumping in.
So those are the areas I am looking at. Those are the areas I am looking at for the price to break. Let's move this slightly. Now it is, um, let's see. We're looking at a 39 pip range really. You know, the price has to break either below here for me, for me to, to sell or break above there. You know, um, I mean, obviously if, if, if um, yeah, that's, that's the way I'll be looking to trade it guys. So that's for USD card. Now, how about um, pound USD? For the pound USD, uh, the five minute time frame, ooh, five minute time frame. You rain, you rain. You rain. Okay. You know, for me to jump in this trade. One minute, guys. One minute, one minute. For me to jump in this trade, you can see it's quite a range between here and here. I'll be looking for price to break below here for a sell or above there for a buy. You know, um, Okay. Anywho. So we've got some weight for this one. You know, I'll be finishing, I'll be finishing. I mean, obviously we've gotten a trade so far. I mean, if, if, um, if in the next, um, maybe 15, 20 minutes, I'll be here for another, you know, um, 15, 20 minutes or so while we wait for, perhaps another signal, you know, like I say, you know, on the pound USD, I'll be waiting for, I mean, it's for me, it's pretty much a range here. I want the price to break below here for a sell or above there for a buy, that's pound USD. For USD card, you know, it has to break below here for a sell or above there for a buy, but we are on this one already. You know, there isn't much news to actually push the market, but that is not to say that we cannot get, you know, um, we cannot get, you know, 30 pips from this today. We're in this one already. So if the price gets to TP1, that's like 30 pips. That, that would be like 30 pips, guys. Right here. Hi. Hello, Sasham. Mr. Chaudhry, how are you? 
<laughs> I'm Francis. I'm Francis. You can see you can see my name on the the Telegram channel. The name of the Telegram channel is Francis Abasogie G W A, which basically stands for Generational Wealth Academy. You know, it's Francis here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, like I said, we'll be here for I'll be here for under you know um, fifteen or twenty minutes or so. Uh, you know, I mean, is there a pair? Is there a pair you would like me to look at? I mean, even though I personally I'm focusing on just these three pairs. If there are any pairs you want me to kind of like look at, and I'll give you my bias. You know, let me know. I know a lot of people trade GJ. <laughs> yes, a lot of people love GJ, pound, JPY. You know, I thought I'd do something different because a lot of the, the, the guys on YouTube, a lot of the guys streaming on YouTube trade GJ. So, you know, why, do we, why should we all focus on GJ? It basically means that if I enter, I mean, a lot of the guys on YouTube are, are pretty good, actually. You know, um, I suppose, you know, if they were not good, they wouldn't be bold enough to come up on YouTube to trade, <laughs> to trade live. You know, so a lot, of, a lot of them are pretty good. None of us win, you know, wins all the time. But, you know, it basically means if I am buying GJ and someone else is buying GJ, you know, because, you know, maybe they are following a different, you know, um, YouTuber or whatever, and we it, and, and and GJ goes against us. It basically means everybody will lose. That's what it means. But guess what? If some other YouTuber is giving signals for a sell on GJ, and I am focusing on USD card, if I win and you lose that one, or you win that one and lose mine, then at least you know we understand that um, you've gone away with something. You know. Um, You know, so that's the way to look at things sometimes. So that's the way to look at it. Right, right, right. So this is still playing around there for us. Well, not for us. I'm sure we would prefer if um, if it was pushing down. Now it seems like um, USD card is going to be giving us giving us a signal for a sell soon. I usually prefer, I, I like to wait, you know, for the candle to close, you know, um, regardless of the time frame I'm on. I mean, there are times when I do take, you know, I take impulse entries. Impulse entries basically meaning you jump on the trade before the candle closes. But otherwise, most of the time I prefer to wait for the candle to close, you know, um, Regardless of the time frame I'm on, whether it's the one hour, the 15 minutes, the five minute, you know, it gives you a, a proper sense of what's happening. So this one is pushing nicely for us. Now, who, who was able to, you know, who was able to get into, who was able to get into the trade? Who was able to get into this Euro Aussie dollar trade? So you can see it's pushing down for us. Nice, nice, nice.
we are just 14 pips away from hitting TP1. USD card is kind of like dancing around, um, around about where we are looking to enter. Pound USD on the other, on the other hand is in no man's land. <laughs> we can't do much with that. No man's land. So let's see if we get a signal or if we get a trade you know, before I leave. It seems to be pushing down nicely, which is good. Now with this one, it's currently about, um, oh, it's going down for us. So it's currently about, oh, it's pushing down beautifully. It's currently about 16 pips. We're currently 16 pips in profit or so. When it gets to 20 pips, I would say to move your stop loss to break even. When it gets to 20 pips, move your stop loss to break even. Well, actually, let me just copy this and post it in my Telegram group. I'm sure my Telegram guys are here. Right, Chio. Okay, so it's pushing down, looking nice. USD card is pushing down. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. We're going to keep an eye on that one. So we can see we are at 18 pips now. So let's get ready, guys, to move it to break even. You know, I mean, one of the, one of the worst things that could happen it's when you go into profit by about 20 pips and then, you know, something happens in the market and it swings against you in a very sharp way. You know, so basically what you should have secured, the pips you should have secured, you know, you end up losing. We don't want that. So once this moves to about 20 pips for us, we would, well, actually it's about 22 pips now. <laughs> it's 22 pips here. So what I'm going to be doing, guys, I'm moving this now to break even. I'm moving this to break even. So we are now at break even on this one, guys. We are now at break even. We are now at break even. Nice one. 
So you see exactly what I was saying. So you see what I was saying. You know, it is the case that sometimes, you know, we come on the session and boom, we get it, a signal straight away. I mean, we got a signal more or less, you know, about um, about seven, 10 minutes into the session. You know, so I'm sure some of you, you know, were able to jump in the trade. I believe some of you were able to jump in the trade. <coughs> I believe some of you were able to jump in the trade. Nice, nice, nice. So we are at break even. Now, what I tend to teach is that it's pushing down nicely. What I, what I tend to teach guys is that when you hit TP1, I mean, ideally, I usually suggest that, you know, um, you know, those trading with me and my students, you know, you enter two positions, you know, if it's a good setup, you should only be jumping or trading in trading good setups anyway. If it's a good setup, take two positions at least, at least two positions, set one at TP1 and the other one at TP2. So that basically what happens is when the one set at TP1 hits the price, it closes out automatically without you having to do anything. I mean, even if you're not there, it closes out automatically for you. And the other trade, you know, um, is you know, allowed to carry on, you know, targeting TP2. But once TP1 has closed, the remaining trade should then be moved to break even, like we've done here. I mean, I have taken partial profits here now. I've taken partial profits and, you know, it is the case that um, no matter what happens now, I would not lose this trade. I cannot lose this trade. No matter what happens, I cannot lose this trade. No matter what happens, I cannot lose this trade because I have secured my position and taking, you know, um, taking partial profits. Now, take partial profits basically means, you know, you've taken, you've closed some positions. If you enter two positions, you've closed one position, you know, that is good. GU is going up. Okay, let's see. Chaudhry, Chaudhry says GU is going up. Okay. Well, it's still in, 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 in the zone. It's still in, in my zone here. I need the price to break out of this zone. I need, I need the price. Otherwise, you, you see, when, when the price is ranging, guys, when the price is ranging, it basically means you know, it's, it's just going up and down, you know, in, in a certain area. You know, that's the, the zone I've drawn out here. So, I mean, one of the ways of knowing what a zone is on any time frame, I mean, I could have drawn out my zone on a higher time frame. This is the five minute. I could have drawn out my zone on a higher time frame and you come to the, the lower time frame and you can pretty much see is the same thing if you know how to do it well. Otherwise, even if you are on, um, on any time frame, like the five minute time frame as we are now, you know, you can see the price was moving up at some point, going up and down, up and down, up and down. It came this high, came back down here, almost to, to well, to test this high. And then it pushed up again, came down, went up and has come back down. So straight away, you would mark out this high and that high, if you want to call it that. Or if you, if you like this low and that high. So that's where we have, where we are here with this one. 
you know, whereas with um, USD card, the price was coming down, coming down. It bounced here on this area, you know, pretty much a number of times, one, two, three, you know, before it broke, broke down or broke through it and came back to that area. It couldn't quite push above it, you know, much. Came down here and that is what is going on here. So you can see here, this was, um, if we had jumped into this trade a while ago, because we, th we thought um, this was going to close below, would have been faked out. You, know, you can see it pretty much you know, through a week here and it's going back up. So it's good, obviously, we didn't enter that trade. That's why it's important to wait for candles to close. But this is the one we are in. We are still pretty much about 20 pips or so which is good, which is goody, goody, goody. Right here, so I'll, I'll be finishing about um, five, five minutes or so. I'll be finishing about five minutes. right here so it was good it was good we found we got a signal quite early or a trade rather a trade we got a trade quite early nice one now the thing is if you're day trading guys i mean all you really need is for the price to move by about 20 pips 30 pips maximum really I mean, if, if your setup is good, you know, and you, you know, enter two positions, a, a 20 pip move will be automatically with 40. I hope you are getting it. If for instance, you, the price moves by 20 pips and you enter two positions, that's 20 times two, that's basically 40 pips. If it moves by 30 pips and you are in two positions, that's 60 pips. And that's really all you need, if, if you like. If you want to grow your account, that's all you need. Um, okay, I mean Godwin. Godwin is hello, Godwin. Godwin is asking if it's um, if it's advisable to use a trailing stop loss, you know, um, in this kind of setup. Now, I do have a video on um, how to use a trailing stop loss. You know, I'll post it. I'll post it in the Telegram group. I'm not quite sure if you are part of um, our Telegram group, Godwin. You know, but I'll post it in the Telegram group. You know, we have lots of views on that one. Let me see, you know, um, I will, I'll come and answer your question shortly. Just one minute, just one minute, Godwin. <laughs> Let 
Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm actually looking for that, you know, um, video now. That's one of my, um, that's one of my most popular YouTube videos actually. Okay, yeah. So that video has done about 51,000, it's had about 51,000 views. That video has had about 51,000 views. I'm, go I'm just gonna post it in the, uh, you know what, I'll post the link here. Let me post the link here for you. In how to use trailing stop loss, but let, let me let me try and explain this first, though. You know, before you know, um, you go there, you can't just go there. You know, otherwise, I'll post it in the Telegram group later on. Um, you want to know if it's advisable to use a trailing stop loss on this one. Now, the thing is, you know, um, with the strategy I use for trading. Um, well, this, the, the strategy I use for trading these days is such that I'm only really looking for anywhere between 25 pips to about, I don't know, 25 to about 40 pips. You know, I'm only looking for about 25 to about 40 pips. So in the sense, it won't be, it won't be, it won't be very smart. It might not be necessarily very smart to, um, use a trailing stop loss. Instead, I would advise you trail it manually. Now, obviously that means, you know, you would have to be, you know, um, close to the computer or perhaps close to, um, you know, close to the phone where, where, where you have access to actually adjust it. Uh, sorry, just, just a minute guys. Just Okay, sorry about that. So, so basically, you know, it would be best to actually, you know, um, trail, I mean, with my strategy, with this strategy, you know, since I'm going for just, you know, 20 to um, 40 pips, it would be best to actually trail it. So, you know, now looking at what we have here, you know, TP2 is about 60 pips, that's TP2. If you're going to trail it, I would say if you're going to trail it, use the auto, auto, auto um, to trail it, um, the trailing stop loss. I would say to go past, you know, like 30 pips first, you know, whereby, you know, you'll be trailing it with about 15 pips or so. That's the way I would advise you do it. You know, I mean, you know, really, you know, um, using the trailing stop loss perhaps will be best. You know, if I would say to watch my video, I mean, um, you know, that would, I, I don't want to say too much so as to confuse you, you know, but, the, you know, going with what I've just said now, if you're going to trail, you know, today's trade, if you enter with us, it's best to do it manually. I mean, we have moved the, the price to break even already, you know, when you're trailing, I would say to use at least 15 pips, you know, for your trailing stop loss, at least 15, you know, so that you give the market room to move, you know, because I mean, some pairs can easily move, you know, in the opposite direction by about 15, 20 pips. So basically it means that if the price moves against you by 15 pips or 20 pips, it would hit your stop loss. You know, so it could, it could basically, in this case, it could basically move, you know, as high as this. Let's just see how many pip, pips that is. So consider where the price is 
maybe around about here to there. That's about 11 pips. Okay, that's fine. So if you say you want to use a trailing stop loss whereby, you know, whereby, you know, you are, you are wanting it to come back as high as this, it means, you know, if, if the price was here to there, that's about 16 pips. With Euro Aussie dollar, the price can easily come that high. So it means it will take you out. You know what I mean? So I, that's why I would use about 15 to 20 pips for um, as my trailing stop loss, you know, for Euro Aussie. But that would mean that the price, I'm already in profit by at least 30 pips. So if you're in profit by about 30 pips and the price, you know, um, as it were, goes against you by 15 pips or 20 pips, you will still be in the, in the in the trade. So if it was to push as high as here before continuing down, you'll still be in the trade, you know, and it could then obviously go all the way to hit TP2. So why sacrifice, you know, just um, a few pips for, why sacrifice your 60 pips for, you know, just a few pips? You know, if you're using trailing stop loss, you want to be able to have at least a 15 or 20 pip stop loss, you know, uh, but obviously that is, you know, depending on how many pips you are going for. If you are swing trading and you are targeting like 200 pips or even 150 pips, then you could increase your, your stop loss by about, you know, to about 30 or so. You know, so um, that's the way I would do it. Okay, so USD card is still in this range for, for us. Well, not for us, it's still in this range. Pound, so you can see, so you can see that, you know, the range I have, I have marked out is kind of like a good one, you know, because the price came and has rejected that area. That's one of the ways, you know, if the, 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 the um, your markup is good, you know, your support and resistance, you know, because price would respect it until it breaks below or above it you know i hope you got that if the price keeps respecting your range the range you've marked out it basically means you've 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 drawn out a good support and resistance you know and also it is the case that it's a good one until price <laughs> until the price breaks through it you know price does not stay in the range forever at some point it breaks through it you know, but this one is still kind of like in the range, but at least we know it's not in the middle here. It's not in no man's land. It's here, which means it could break below, but we'll see. Now, this is the one we are in. We are in profit already, you know, by about seven, about 17 or 18 pips, and that's good for us. So you see what I was saying a while ago about, you know, getting two positions, at least for my students, you know, with the strategy I teach, I always advise them to enter two positions, you know, at least two positions so that you can decide to close both positions out at some point. I mean, we got as much as 22 pips here. If I had closed two positions, that would be, be 44 pips. Even now that we are at about, um, you know, 18 pips, if I was to close both positions, that's 36 pips. You know, so that's the way to look at it, guys. Okay, so I hope that answers the, you know, gives some answer or some kind of, um, you know, res good response to you, Godwin. Okay, um, boom, 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 boom. Sas Saska Saksham, Saksham is saying, um, Saksham is saying how to draw support and resistance. Okay, you know what I'll do? I probably have a, I probably have a YouTube video on that. You know, I'll post that in the Telegram group. If I'm not able to find a good one, because sometimes, you know, um, there are some things I have taught, you know, to my VIP students and, 
you know, it could be a bit complex, you know. I'd rather, you know, you know, choose something that is easy to for everybody to understand. You know, I mean, I have done a number of um, videos on support and resistance. You know, part of you know, you know, you know, as a series, which means part one, part two, part three, or part one and part two. You know, I've also drawn it. I've also done videos on various ways in which to draw support and resistance using all kinds of tools. You know, price action, yes. You know, but also if you want to use, you know, some tools, you can do that as well. So I'll look for something that's going to be, you know, straightforward and easy to post for you in Telegram. You know, if you're not in the Telegram group, you know, um, it's a good time to join so that um, you will get the video. You know, that's because I wouldn't have much time to do that today, you know, because I have to go now. So guys, you know, um, I will be back next week. You know, so what, what I, what, like I said, I mean, what I'm hoping to do is to be, um, okay, okay. What I'm hoping to do, guys, is to be here more days next week. <laughs> yes, I want to do, you know, a whole lot more live sessions next week, you know, and they'll hopefully be able to join us. You know, um, I just, I mean, I just gave an idea anyway, you know, at the beginning, sometime during this video, I mean, we've been here for about um, almost, well, just over one hour now. So if you, if you watch the replay, I mean, you'll see where I basically used the line chart for drawing support and resistance. That is pretty easy and straightforward. I mean, uh, I suppose I'll find time to do another video on that, you know, and, you know, post it, you know, and share with you. But anyway, guys, if you've not hit the like button, do so for me. If you've hit it already, don't hit it twice. If you hit it twice, you are going to be unliking it. You know, you're going to be unliking it. If you hit it the first time, you like it. If you hit it again, you are unliking it. So don't unlike my videos. Don't unlike my videos. <laughs> so guys, catch you, catch you, catch you, and um, have a profitable rest of the week. Tomorrow is Friday. Friday could be a bit tricky, but I do trade on Friday. And for those who want access to my indicator, the Wealthy Place indicator, you know, do reach out to me on um, Telegram group. As a matter of fact, the strategy for the indicator is what has given us this trade. Think about that. Oh, it's pushing down now. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The strategy for giving us, the strategy for um, with which I entered the trade was given me by the Wealthy Place indicator. Have a nice one and then um, catch you next week. But I'm, I'm going to be back on Telegram, you know, um, later on. Well, later on today. And of course, tomorrow, I'll be trading tomorrow. I looked, I'm looking to trade tomorrow. So we're almost at TP1. See, we're almost at TP1. We entered here. TP1 is about, oh, that's 32 pips. So let's move it up slightly. TP1 is about 30 pips. So you can see we're almost at TP1. Right before your eyes, guys. We enter this trade right before your eyes. So you know that, yes, I do trade as well. <laughs> Hello, Wayne. I don't think I know Wayne. You know, Wayne, do say hello to me on Telegram if you're on Telegram. And let's, um, let's see where we can go with this. Now, now, before you go, actually, before you go, there's something I must tell you. You know, um, I have spoken to a number of people on, um, in, in the Telegram group. And I realized, you know, like I've always known anyway, that a lot of people actually are trading with a very small account, an account of about, you know, $200, $250. I even know some people who are trading with a $50 account. Now, to be honest with you, if, if, if you want Forex to be a source of income, a proper source of income, you want to you want to have um, okay oh, no, that's fine you want to you want to uh, basically you know grow your account 
And I'm going to be sharing with you soon, hopefully as from next week, a way in which to begin to grow your account, your Forex account, or if you like to fund your Forex account very rapidly. And I'm talking of crypto arbitrage. Now, when some people hear crypto, they immediately panic. They panic. There's no need to panic, guys. There's no need to panic. You know, you know, the 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 you know the 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 way to trade or grow your account using crypto is is by arbitrage. Arbitrage trading is such that it's it's difficult to lose. I don't want to say it's impossible to lose, but I'm gonna be you know sharing with you a robot I use, a platform I use for trading arbitrage that basically does not lose. I know that sounds strange. I mean, because people are used to losses in Forex, you know, but I'm gonna be sharing with you a crypto arbitrage platform, which you could start with $20, by the way. Oh yeah. You could start by as little, with, with as little as $20 and grow your account very quickly. As a matter of fact, it will double your account for you every 40, 40 days or thereabout. Every 45, 40, 45 days, your account doubles without you doing anything. You don't have to, it trades on auto for you. It trades on autopilot. So if you want to know more about that, you know, do you know, reach out to me in the Telegram group. And as a matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll be posting the link to join my, my arbitrage group, you know, um, so you could begin to trade. You know, with the arbitrage group, I'll I'll leave a message as well in the, in the arbitrage group, you know, to explain a lot more. You know, imagine having your twenty dollars and doubling it in about forty five days without you doing anything. You can go to sleep, you can go to the park, to school, to work, wherever. No matter the amount, I'm just saying twenty dollars because if you want to start with twenty dollars, because that's the minimum. You know, some people, you know, start with, you know, $500, others start with $2,000, $5,000. You know, I know friends who have started with about $30,000. You know, so, you know, if you want to be able to fund your Forex account, you know, of course, that would mean that you, are, you, you become a Forex trader and a crypto arbitrage trader. But that's a good thing, you know, because, I mean, I want to help people prepare for this Christmas, guys. You know, we are in, um, we're in August. We still have about four, about three or four months to Christmas. I want to help you guys prepare for Christmas, have some money ready for Christmas. Oh, TP1 hit. <laughs> oh, Wayne is awesome, awesome, awesome. So TP1 has been hit and um, that's a good one. But, you know, like I say, I mean, I want to help you guys, you know, um, generate some money for Christmas. And the good way to do it, the safest way to do it, I would say, yes, that is even, I say this with all honesty, Forex, easy, Forex trading is not the easiest thing to do. Forex trading is not the easiest thing to do. It takes years sometimes to become profitable unless you have a good mentor. You know, but for crypto arbitrage, it is the case that you could be in profit you could be in profit from day one. Can you believe that? That's too hard to believe. <laughs> you know, but I've been doing it. You know, I will begin to tell you guys, I begin to te tell you testimonies of, you know, how much I have made from crypto arbitrage. I'm talking of thousands, thousands, without having to analyze the charts, you know, uh, Saskam was just asking for how to draw support and resistance. You don't have to draw support and resistance. You just place your money in the platform and it just grows your account from day one. I'm going to be talking more about it, you know, um, in, in the Telegram group. You know, I'll post the link and obviously share with you and let's see how far we can go with that. Okay, guys, have a nice trading day. Have a profitable day. Don't risk too much. If I find another signal, you know, um, today, I'll be posting it in the Telegram group. So, you know, follow us closely and I'm sure you'll be profitable today. Okay now, God bless.